Hi guys, welcome to the channel. How fast does an EV charger have to be to completely eliminate range anxiety? And can our power grid cope with the ultra chargers drawing 0.9 megawatts at full blast? It seems we're going to find out. Hong Kong company Destin is hitting the road to demo remarkable EV battery and charger combination that's 2.5 times faster than the industry-leading best that ABB revealed earlier this week. So, in today's video, we're going to tell you everything about China's new batteries that charge faster than gasoline. Without further ado, let's begin! Think of an electric car and the first name that comes to mind will probably be Tesla. The California company makes the world's best-selling electric car and was recently valued at $1 TN. But behind the US success story is a tale of China's manufacturing might. Tesla's factory in Shanghai now produces more cars than its plant in California. Some of the batteries that drive them are Chinese-made, and the minerals that power the batteries are largely refined and mined by Chinese companies. As the world transitions to electric vehicles EVs, companies are racing to secure and strengthen their positions in the battery supply chain, from mineral extraction and processing to battery and EV manufacturing. The sector has seen a move towards vertical integration, where one. We first heard about this monster of a system in 2019, when it was announced as the energy storage for a new electric sports car from Peitch, a company born of European automobile royalty. The Peitch Mark Zero looked like a jolly good sports car for people who are into that sort of thing, but the battery claimed next-level capabilities. Offering a 500 kilometer, 311 miles, of WLTP range, Peitch announced it could charge from 0 to 80% in just 4 minutes 40 seconds. That's scarcely longer than it takes to fill up a gas tank. Some companies like to rate their chargers by miles of range added per hour. Tesla's V3 superchargers, for example, offer about 1,610 kilometers per hour, 1,000 miles per hour operating at 250 kilowatts. On that scale, the Destin charger would give you 8,253 kilometers per hour, 5,128 miles per hour. Outrageous. Destin was founded in 2015 in Hong Kong, China, and has since disrupted the lithium-ion battery industry by leading the electrification of mobility and propelling green power generation. Destin develops and produces highly innovative products in the fields of energy storage and fast charging technology, based on advancements in battery technology stemming from years of R&D and material discovery and formulation at Destin's research and development facilities. Destin has a global footprint with a presence in Asia, the Middle East, North America, and Europe. If you are enjoying the video, then make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel for more amazing videos just like this. Still, one area of concern could be high heat buildup within batteries due to fast charging. Destin said its batteries retain high thermal stability to remain cool throughout an operation. Unlike available batteries, Destin added that the battery cells do not require water cooling. This reduces costs and saves energy. Destin Group CEO Siamak Kia said being able to charge a vehicle within 5 minutes would make EVs more appealing do away with the need to charge driving behaviors and leverage the available petrol stations infrastructures. Soon you will be able to purchase electric cars with Destin batteries inside. You will not have to wait to charge your car at a charging station any longer than it takes you to fuel your combustion car today. The technology can also help in reducing the demand for charging stations, Destin said, adding that it is a result of its breakthrough discoveries in materials and cell structures. Outlining the battery life, it said the cell can achieve an industry-leading 3,000 cycles and over 932,055 miles (1.5 million kilometers) of total driving range. Heat is typically the enemy when it comes to fast charging and discharging of batteries, but Destin claims to have eliminated this as an issue. Operating across a broad range of ambient temperatures, Destin says these batteries heat up only by 15 degrees Celsius 27 degrees Fahrenheit, even at their max charge-slash-discharge rate of 10 Celsius. 
Each 19 AH cell is rated for more than 3,000 charge-slash-discharge cycles, or about 1.5 million kilometers, 930,000 miles, in an EV, so longevity is certainly not the sacrifice here. The main drawback seems to be specific energy. Where the Tesla Model 3 battery carries 260 WH per kilogram of energy, the Destin cells can only give you 160 WH per kilogram. Mind you, the overall system will save weight measured against some competitors simply because it doesn't require any liquid cooling. And anyway, when you've got a car that drives 500 kilometers on a charge and charges in less than 5 minutes, specific energy gets a lot less interesting as a metric. You're charging it slow and cheap overnight at home or the office for 99% of the time, and on the rare occasions you need to drive more than 400 kilometers in a day, you can blast it back to 80% before the barista got your coffee done. This, of course, is in a perfect world where 900 kilowatt ultra-fast chargers are as readily accessible as gas stations are today, which they manifestly are not. And if they were, and they were in regular usage, would the power grid be able to cope with multiple instant load spikes, each pulling nearly a megawatt for five minutes? Possibly, yes, because it seems Destin plans to have a considerable amount of buffer battery between the car and the grid. The same batteries, it appears, as the ones in the car pack, so they'll be capable of discharging fast enough to max out the car's charge rate. These buffer batteries will charge much slower throughout the day, fed by grid power. The company says nothing about two-way charging on its website, but these big buffer batteries could theoretically be terrifically handy as super-responsive grid-stabilizing load spike balancers across the energy network when there are no cars connected. So, again, theoretically, these ultra-chargers may actually end up being a helpful addition to the power grid as opposed to a critical drain. Destin is launching the battery and charger system this week, oddly enough with a traveling roadshow starting in Jakarta, Indonesia, then moving through Asia, the Middle East, Europe, and North America. The company has built a little car for the demo tour, apparently minus bodywork. It'll certainly be riveting stuff watching a battery charging showcase, and we do wonder how it'll really prove the technology. This kind of thing, and a lack of any information on price or how these batteries deal with heat so well at high charge slash discharge rates, makes us pump the brakes on our enthusiasm. Destin is making extraordinary claims here, which will need to be backed up with extraordinary evidence. Then these batteries and chargers will need to prove themselves automotive standards compliant as well as price competitive in applications far more quotidian than high-end European sports cars. And the production will need to be ramped way up from the current rate of double-digit MWH annually. It'll be a long time, in other words, and many stars will need to align before the highways are dotted with 900 kilowatt Destin ultrachargers. But still, the prospect of a 5-minute, 400-kilometer top-up that doesn't wreck the battery? That'd do a lot to break through a few remaining barriers to EV adoption. We wish the company well and hope to see more industry traction in the coming months. So guys, let me know down in the comments section below, do you think this technology can beat Tesla batteries? For more interesting content, give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome content. Have a nice day and I will see you in the next video.